Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm taking a look at the Captain's Chair from Star Trek The Original Series, the 1-6 scale effects replica by Quantum Mechanics. Let's see how it turned out. Flashing warning lights! Authentic bridge sounds! <laughs> oh, Quantum Mechanics, you guys crack me up. Uh, taking a look at the packaging, it's pretty much similar to the design that we've seen on the actual six scale figure packaging, and so far as colors and patterns and whatnot are concerned. Better integration this time around with the figure photography and the packaging. Not sure what was done differently here, um, but the transition doesn't seem to be so abrupt, and it doesn't distract from that um, beautiful Enterprise saucer section motif. I love that thing so much. But enough about that. Let's rip this thing open and see what it's made of. The um, plastic, the clamshell here is fairly basic. Uh, it's sealed together with some tape. Just slice that thing open, it comes right out. It's so simple, it's so, I dare say elegant. Nah, maybe not elegant, but it does the job. I guess that's the point that I'm trying to get at. Once you lift it out of here, then you'll have access to a full range of features that I'm about to get to. First thing that I noticed is look at the appearance of that leather on the chair. It looks so real. It downscales so nicely. It reads so well with the light. It looks like the genuine article. That's to say nothing of the pattern on the on the wood, on the armrest. Just gorgeous. Nice, nice cherry feel. Anyway, yes, three batteries you will need in order to access the full range of features for the captain's chair. Try not to let the little devils get away. Flip the chair over. There's a panel on the back wherein the batteries will be hiding. You can see there that that's where the speaker resides. That's actually the best place, in my opinion, for the speaker. It's gonna bounce that sound off of whatever surface that you're resting the chair on. Acoustically, that should help it resonate quite a bit more and just deliver a better sound quality overall. So I think that was a smart play on their part. Well done, QMX. Some people might find themselves complaining about the fact that there were no batteries included with the chair. If that's your biggest problem with this piece, then let's be honest, you're really reaching. I think it's fine at the price point, and any batteries included probably would have jacked the price up a little bit. At any rate, batteries installed, let's give this thing a whirl. All right, yeah, that's pretty badass. Sure to be a crowd pleaser anytime that you have friends over or just a delight to yourself. On top of that, check out how it rotates. I think that's pretty standard fare, but I'm glad that they included it all the same. It seems like a no-brainer. All in all, having this piece on a shelf with a figure in it is sure to be a delight. And if, like me, you don't have the Captain Kirk 6 scale figure, then you can probably substitute it with some of the others. I actually plan on hosting my con from the original series, uh, Six Go Figure on this chair, just because, well, that's just the story I want to tell. When QMX first announced that they were going to be releasing a six scale captain's chair, I my first thoughts were skeptical. I recognized that it was going to be an awesome looking piece. I knew the quality would be there, but I couldn't convince myself that I needed to have it in my collection. I didn't realize, I didn't think at the time that it was crucial. Then I started thinking about what the captain's chair means. It's more than just a place for Kirk to sit. It's a symbol, not just of the power of the Enterprise, but of the responsibility that comes with it. The actions that the captain performs will be a direct reflection of that captain's character. The same can be said for anybody who is a stand-in for that role. The most recent example I can think of is in one of the newer films when Sula was told that he needed to take the chair and he appeared hesitant about it. That's an indication not only of the responsibility that it holds, but of w Sulu's wisdom and probably his worthiness of being a captain sometime in the future. At any rate, I highly recommend anybody who's a Star Trek fan goes out and get this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, be good to your plastic.